The Kaliman Mountains are situated in the Eastern Carpathians and cover an area of about 2000 square kilometers running east-west at 50 kilometers. It is the youngest mountain range in Romania and the most significant volcanic massif in the Carpathians. Kalimani forms the biggest crater without activity in Europe, measuring about 10 kilometers in diameter. For centuries, the Kalimani Mountains were part of the natural borderland between the Hungarian Kingdom, Principality of Transylvania, and the predominantly Romanian-speaking regions of Moldavia and Bukovina. The Kalimani Mountains are bounded on the south by the Sek and Toplica streams, which separate them from the Giurgiu Mountains. The valley of the Muresh River separates them from the Gurgiu Mountains. Towards the west, the Kaliman Mountains lean into the Transylvanian Basin. The northern limits are drawn by the valley of Transylvanian Bistrica, which sets the massif apart from the Birgau Mountains, and the Dorna Valley, which separates it from the Suhar Mountains. A short stretch of the northeastern slopes of the Kalimani Mountains links with the Rarau Jumalo Mountains across the valley of the Moldavian Bistrica. The eastern limits of the Kaliman Mountains make a transition towards the Bistrice Mountains. The Kaliman Mountains are a stratovolcano or a composite volcano, which means that they formed as a result of successive eruptions during an extended period of time through alternating layers of solidified lava and volcanic ash. It is the most developed unit of the Eastern Carpathians' andesitic belt. Talking of the geological evolution, volcanic activity began in the late tertiary period 7 million years ago and reached its climax in the Neocene 5 million years ago. This first phase of the active volcano was followed by a period of volcanic standstill, increased erosion and deposition. The second phase took place in the Upper Pliocene 2 million years ago. An inactive volcano with its partially emptied magma chamber was no longer able to hold the weight of the entire cone. Great tensions caused by differences in pressure and weight created ring fractures. The whole volcanic surface with cold and solidified lava was colonized by vegetation. The third phase took place in the Quaternary period, Pleistocene, and produced andesites and basalts as well. A large part of the volcanic cone collapsed following the ring of fractures. The result was a caldera. The remains of the collapsed cone filled the empty space of the former magma chamber. Rivers, rains, wind and temperature variations have modified the landscape ever since. The summits and valleys are the results of erosion of the cone's remains. The volcanic karst found here is a unique phenomenon which can hardly be seen elsewhere in Europe. Inside the main crater there are several secondary craters, Pietricellul, Haitse Peak and Negoil Romanesque. Erosion has led to the formation of bizarre rock formations that have been designated geological reserves, red stones, Tihu, Ruska, Tamaulau.
the most wonderful section of the Kaliman's Rim is a group of bizarre rock formations called Twelve Apostles. This unique geological reservation boasts fascinating and mysterious statues like the Marshal, the Lizard or Dragons, each meticulously chiseled from a volcanic rock by natural processes. Raindrops easily infiltrate any small cracks in the rock surface. When the water becomes ice, it creates a pressure making the crack bigger and eventually causing the rock to split. The wind also contributes by dislodging and carrying away small rock particles. This is how, for a long period of time, an impressive gallery of figures consisting of volcanic rocks 8 to 12 meters tall give this special place some magical charm. Human intervention in ancient times is not excluded as the rocks were used as a symbols during rituals. The special landscape found here is characteristic to the volcanic pyroclast relief. The most impressive part of the Kaliman Mountains adorned with the highest peaks is the huge, horseshoe-shaped caldera. This is the only massive from the Volcarpathian volcanic range which bears the marks of glaciation. The highest peak called Pietrosul reaching 2100 meters altitude located in the central part represents the most spectacular section of the main crater. Together with the second high summit, Negoyu Unguresk, they form a massive crest oriented northwest southeast with a length of 4 kilometers. It is characterized by a completely distinct alpine relief with evident glacial traces in comparison to the rest of the volcanic range. Situated in the eastern part of the caldera, about 2 km south of the summit of Kalimanu Cerbului, Jezerului Kalimanului, reaching 2031 meters, is the third highest peak. Ratsitish summit is located in the east central part with meteo station on its top. North face shelters a natural forest of spruce arula and gradual south face presents distinct landscape of stone seas and dwarf bushes with Yezer Lake and Transkaliman Road. Kalimanu Cerbulu is situated in the eastern part of the crater. Located inside the main crater one kilometer west of Ratsitish, Pietrichel summit is covered with dwarf pine. Bistrichoru peak is part of the Bistrichoru group, situated about 10 kilometers west of the summit of Pietrosul. Yezerul Kalimani Natural Reservation preserved the natural elements of vegetation and a beautiful lake bordered with dwarf pine and alpine rose. Being part of Kalimani National Park, Lake Yezer is the only lake of glacial origin and sits at 1730 meters altitude. The subalpine and alpine zones are found above 1,700 meters where plants like blueberry, rhododendron, juniper and dwarf pine grow. In 1975, the Biological Research Center in Cluj proposed Kalimani Mountains as a national park. In 2000, the Romanian legislation lists the Kalimani National Park with a total surface of 2,400 hectares. This protected territory plays an important role with respect to the conservation of Romania's wildlife and mountain ecosystems. 
Some 1,000 species of Ascura plants grow in the Kalimine Mountains with grasses and flowers outnumbering the species of trees and bushes. Vibrantly colored flowers can be found at high altitude meadows in the summer. There are some 100 species of birds in the Kalimani National Park. Mammals consist a relatively small group of fauna. Of the reptiles is the viper. While it is rarely spotted, its presence is beneficial for the ecosystem. The climate of the massif is influenced by the temperate continental and mountain climate with two climatic levels. The low mountain level stretches from 600 to 1,700 meters altitude with 2.6 degrees Celsius yearly average temperature and 800 to 1,200 millimeters annual precipitation. The high mountain level stretches from 1,700 to 2,100 meters with minus 2.2 degrees Celsius yearly average temperature and 1,200 to 1,400 mm annual precipitation. Hot and dry continental tropical air masses produce the highest temperature usually in August. Due to the orographic particularities of the Kaliman Mountains, thermal inversions are common and noteworthy for their intensity, duration and frequency. 14% of inversions last more than 24 hours. In 1961, a complex of caves was discovered in the volcanic rock, but unfortunately the caves were destroyed when a sulfur quarry was opened in the late 70s. Closed in 90s, even nowadays, the unusual landscape of the nude ground surprises the visitor. It is so different in comparison to the scientific reserve situated in the immediate neighborhood. There are also several ecological reconstruction projects in the Kalimani National Park. The Kaliman is well known in Romania for its strange rock formations. The volcanic plateau dominated by the Kalimani caldera and the abundance of Swiss pine and juniper bushes, massive eruptive rocks and craters of old volcanoes. These are the main features of the Kalimani National Park. That's why Kalimani mountains represent the most grandiose volcanic complex of Romania and the highest volcanic part of the Carpathians. Mm -hmm.